for the morning, praise for them springing fresh from the world. Sweet the rains and fall, sunlit from heaven, like the first fall on the first grass. Praise for the sweetness of the wet garden, sprung in completeness where his feet pass. Mine is the sunlight, mine is the Praise every morning, God's recreation of the new day. Well, friends, it's good to be back with you on this holy Saturday. Now, a word. If you have never liturgically or spiritually or intentionally marked this day, this particular day, we call Holy Saturday before a warm welcome to you and an invitation. And that invitation this year and every year is to come and sit. Come and sit. Though much of the Christian world in a normal year is typically busy with the last minute errands and preparations for Easter day on this day before Easter, Holy Saturday, running errands, making dessert, getting the linens pressed, making sure everyone has the right clothes or outfit, shoes to match. The church calls us instead to sit, sit quietly she says, sit shiva, for our God lies buried in a tomb. Sit and pray. Sit and feel all of the feelings that come with death. Love, gratitude, heart-wrenching grief, fear, anger, laughter, sadness, awkwardness, loneliness, peace, exhaustion, love. Don't try to push through them, just sit. So often in our world today, friends, we jump. We jump from the throes of death and dying straight into the busyness of the after death that we miss entirely the act of sitting with it, sitting with our dead, anointing them as Jesus and Nicodemus did for Jesus, touching, literally touching, praying for, weeping over, laughing with others around a body that you loved so deeply and feeling all of those feelings. Don't rush past it this year. Just sit and be present to the death and burial of our Lord Jesus Christ. Pray for our God. Pray for all those who have died during this time of Corona and all those who cannot be anointed right now because of the contagion that holds us all in its grip. Pray for the medical workers who are taking our place at the deathbeds of our beloved because we can't be there with them in person. Sit and pray, friends, for the dead. That's what this day is for. 
to a world that loves a good train wreck but can't make peace with our own mortality, at least our own personal mortality. Holy Saturday is a gift. It is a gift of love offered, offered by the God lying in his tomb and by his friends who risked everything to tend to his body, to anoint him with their oils, yes, but also with their presence, with their love, with their feelings, with their tears. Sit, God says. Be present as I am present. For we know that death, while inevitable for all of us, is not the final act. Though the world would have us fear it and do our best to hide from it, death, friends, is ours to meet with hope in our hearts. Oh, that you would hide me in Sheol, conceal me and then appoint me a set time and remember me, said the prophet Jeremiah. Sit and be concealed for a bit this day. God is offering you a great gift. Take it. Amen.